Now, I think it is the time to invite one of our Burmese student studying in medical school here. Her name is Nin Pyu. Her full name is Nin Pyu Aethang. She would like to give a short speech based on her experience. And also, at the same time, she wants to encourage the people in Burma. And I'm sure she is quite ready to talk her speech. Please welcome her. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Nim Pia, and just before I start, I just, I guess we just need to give a bit of warning that some of the contents of my speech um, might be a bit disturbing for some people, so my apologies. Um, my name is Nim Pia, and I was born in a, a Korean village in Burma. I was raised under the military regime, the Tamador, with fear and sense of insecurities. I woke up in the middle of one night to the sound of my grandmother crying because the Burmese army had taken my grandfather and my uncle as porters. The Burmese army, known as the Tamador, have used porters to carry heavy artillery in the front line, um, to clear landmines, and sometimes used as human shields. As violence escalated um, in our village, our land got confiscated. We were made homeless and we became stateless. We, we crossed to the Thai-Burma border and we ended up in one of the refugee camps. The camp was barbed wire and the living condition was poor. But for some reason, living in a barbed wire camp in a foreign country felt safer than living in my own country. Let me tell you what the Tamador or the Burmese army is like. They are the cancer of our country. Cancer cells are insensitive to anti-growth signals. They evade programmed cell death. They have limitless potential to replicate. And they have the ability to invade and metastasize neighboring cells and tissues. And just like cancer cells, the Dumbledore have, they are insensitive to external and internal pressure. They have managed to evade any form of accountability and responsibilities for the crimes against humanity that they have committed for the last 50 years. They're given limitless potentials to murder, rape, torture, and imprison anyone that stands in their way without mercy. They have managed to exploit the country's rich natural resources while starving the people of Burma of education, opportunities, hope and dreams. While the people of Burma are being tortured, raped and killed as we speak, the international communities and the UN are still talking diplomacy. It's like saying, let's treat cancer using simple analgesia, watch and wait and see what happens. Because that's what the international communities and the UN have been doing and it is clearly not working. Maybe it is time for us to escalate the treatment regimen. Maybe it is time for us to look for other treatment options. Rather than treating the symptoms and just putting a Band-Aid on, maybe we should look at treating the underlying cause of the problem, which is the Tamador. We are hurt. We're wounded. We're grieving. We're angry. And we desperately need the international community to listen to us 
to the people of Burma. We're not asking for much. We're simply asking the international communities to use your freedom and promote us. Because at the end of the day, that's all we want. Freedom. Freedom from fear. Freedom of expression. Freedom to live. Freedom to dream. Thank you to every single one of us here and those supporting us in spirit. Thank you. Yerobo, Ango Aoyami. Thank you, A.